Okay, so I wanted to capture this next, I guess, episode of the Teach Brave 17. Um, kind of at an important turning point here. So just really, really teeny recap if this is the first vlog that you've picked up. I am um, back in June, I decided to get back on my longboard, actually didn't start skateboarding again. Um, not while I was longboarding, but as I was packing up my gear, I slipped, I fell, and remarkably I broke, first dislocated and then found out afterwards I broke my shoulder. So that was in the last week of June. So here I am now, third week of August, and I've decided to return to yoga. Now yoga was something that I had started practicing back in January, February, going a couple times a week. So funny thing, when I injured my shoulder, I kind of, you know, I kind of stepped back from doing a, uh, the yoga too. Like I was really, really tentative about trying to, um, trying to do work that uh, isn't necessarily connected to the injury and inarguably it probably would have helped with my flexibility. So I, but I stayed away from it and I think I had a little bit of fear. It was not only the fear of the pain that my shoulder was in, but it was also the fear that um, in, in exploring how much flexibility I had is maybe finding out that possibly I wouldn't be able to return to, um, well, my life as I, as I knew it. So a, a few things have happened. Um, I've, 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 throughout this whole summer, I've had so many moments where I've been, you know, I can't turn off my teacher's brain. So seeing moments around me that, that bring me back into teaching and, and think about how I'm going to re I guess invigorate or, or realign my practice for September and and part of this whole teach brave 17 is is not only um, on one hand talking about um, students and how to support them through failure you know and and you know the meta to this is me going through my process of, of failure I mean I got it on my board once and then I'm, I haven't been back on it yet but the other part to it as well is how do you not only do you sort of uh, support a student through failure, but then how do you put the blocks together to support success? And where I got to today, and I was really happy that I, I just jumped back in and I went back to yoga today, is that in the middle of practice, the um, the instructor said that it's it's in the moment that you are starting to give up, that the learning begins. And now that was in a particular uh, difficult plank pose, and believe me, I learned that I can't do the plank pose. But it it struck me as 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 strange. Like that's one of the, that's the only thing I remember from from the instruction today and the narrative from the instructor, is that that's where the learning begins. And I think my aversion to getting back into yoga um, was the exact it was the exact story that I needed to explore to see where I am in my healing and where I am not only healing in the body, but healing in the mindset and getting back on the board. Now, I am not planning on getting back on my board until September. I have actually um, shifted that goal knowing just in my heart and myself that a sudden stop on that board could sort of, I mean, it's just gonna cause extended injury to my shoulder. But where I kind of take this and, and where it gives me a moment to consider what the practice is for September is when a student doesn't achieve their goal, whether it's, you know, selected by them or the goal in the classroom, there's an important backstory to that where you can encourage them to do things that will support their movement towards that goal. And it might be parallel structures. I mean, you could call it scaffolding as well. So for me, I've come to recognize that in order for me to get back on the board, it's not just a matter of every day staring at the board, which I do. It's in my garage. I look at it every single day. I think there's also other things that I need to do to build the confidence and the mindset so that I will enjoy I'm on the board and I enjoy my moments on the board. And I think about this from the students when they don't achieve their mark or they don't achieve their understanding. How do you encourage them to do things? How will I encourage them to do things that will structure success before they set their goals and feel like when they do set up something that they wanna take a risk on and take a chance on, that they have a nice selection of skills that could support almost any goal, any goal at all. So that's, um. That's where I'm thinking. That's where my mind's landing today. 
I think I'm gonna start going a little bit more. I'm gonna be going more to yoga. I like the thoughts that come out of it. All right, thanks for listening.